Blackmagic's Ultimate Keying System produces world-class keys in real time using just about any green screen or blue screen background, and all in just five easy steps. To get started, make sure all your connections are going to the right place. Toggle between the various monitor out options at the bottom of the touchscreen. Now for a well-lit green screen, you can simply press the auto key button to get an instant high quality key. And that may be all that's needed. However, if you notice any issues with the resulting automatic key, it's time to fine tune the result, starting with sampling the screen color. First up, make sure the main menu selector at the top is set to matte. Select the screen sample submenu. We're now going to choose a small section of the key screen that represents a good average of the key color. Select wall cursor position and the preview monitor immediately toggles to the raw green screen input. A small white sampling region appears in the top left corner of the preview monitor. By rotating the dial to the left of cursor position horizontal, you can move the square cursor left and right and use the cursor position vertical dial on the right to adjust its height. Tap Sample Wall to lock the color choice. Now, if you're shooting a green screen psych and you can see both the wall and the floor in the frame, you can choose Dual Cursor Mode instead. The Ultimat will automatically proceed to Floor Cursor Position and a new cursor will appear at lower right, ready to adjust. Use the same dials to adjust the new cursor, find a good sample floor area, then tap Sample Floor to complete the process. At this point, the final composite will probably look pretty convincing. Notice how Ultimat has preserved all the shadow detail from the original green screen set. However, the foreground might appear to have a light, hazy appearance, what Ultimat calls the veil. If you toggle to the combined matte output, you'll see some noise that wasn't noticeable in the composited preview. Still in the main matte menu, select Veil. To remove noise, Rotate the Master Veil dial counterclockwise. Try not to correct past minus 15% or things may start to look unnatural. With the veil removed, it's time to move on fine-tuning transparency. Looking at the combined matte output, you may notice lighter regions in the matte where the foreground should have a solid black matte. These holes in the matte can either be the result of excessive color spill or poor wardrobe choice, or shiny specular reflections on foreground surfaces like polished shoes. Ultimat has separate controls for both of these problems. Let's start by eliminating the false transparencies that are due to foreground color problems. Tap the map button to exit veil mode and return to the main map menu. While looking at the problem areas, adjust the map density dial clockwise to eliminate any false transparency. It's important to stress, this control is only for colors too close to the background screen. We'll adjust for those shininess issues next. Remember, you can toggle back and forth between the combined matte and the program out by tapping the buttons at the bottom of the touchscreen. With the false color issues dealt with, let's move on to problems due to reflections. This control is called black gloss as it most affects shiny shoes where they make close contact with the floor. Rotate the black gloss dial clockwise until any holes caused by specular reflections are removed. And that brings us to the final step, color matching and spill suppression. Now Ultimat automatically applies a basic level of spill suppression to the shot, so often you won't need to apply any custom spill suppression. But, if your talent is extremely close to the green screen or is wearing a lot of reflective clothing, there may be flares of green or blue spill producing an unnatural color cast. Looking at the program out, select the main foreground menu. Select Flare 2. Here you can adjust spill suppression in the skin tones, cool colors, and warm tones. A counterclockwise turn will reduce spill in any of these given tonal regions. Now, if you push things too far, no problem. Just tap Flare Reset and start over. Now, with spill suppression complete, we can move on to general color matching. 
Most of the time, the background will already be set to the correct levels, but if it's not, select the background menu and adjust the dials for blacks, whites, contrast, and saturation as desired. As with the flare settings, if you overdo things, either double tap an individual control to reset it, or tap BG Color Reset to reset all the controls. And once you're happy with the background, select the foreground menu and use the identical correction controls to match the black point in the foreground to the black point in the background, white point to white point, and then adjust the contrast control until the shift from darks to lights in the foreground matches the contrast in the background image. One final tip. If your green screen doesn't cover the entire frame, tap Mat In and adjust Window left, right, top, or bottom. Here we can see a level difference at the window border. We can use screen correction to solve this. Select the Mat menu, Mat Process, and make sure the talent is off screen before tapping Screen Capture. Finally, tap Screen Correct to apply. The window border magically disappears. And that's it, an amazing key in five steps. Now, you'll no doubt have noticed a whole slew of other options in the menus. So when you encounter particularly thorny problems on a green screen set, Ultimat has the advanced tools there ready to solve them. But for the vast majority of shots, the five simple steps we've just covered are more than enough to create a convincing composite of your green screen or blue screen. Thanks for watching.